got that button. Oh, we got that button. So. Hey, bro. This nigga need to. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, shit is nuts. <laughs> nigga, you, you came on here to talk about that? Fuck out of here. You getting blocked too. Shut the fuck up, pussy. <sighs> Niggas just don't know what the fuck happened. You motherfuckers are so fucking weird. Everything got to be weird to you niggas. Everything's a conspiracy. Everything's like, no, nigga. Some shit, especially where I'm from, is just straight up ignorant nigga shit. Niggas always want to talk about some old extra shit. That's why we fucked up now. You know what I'm saying? And of course, yeah, I know what the fuck happened, but I'm not finna get on here and tell you. Keep speculating. I don't know what the fuck happened. All I know is a great life was lost. And when you're playing chess, in the game of chess, if a pawn knock off the motherfucking queen piece or the king piece or some important piece that is... Yeah, I don't care how many fucking pawns you kill, how many pawns you knock over on the board, shit ain't gonna matter. It's never gonna amount to the loss, you know what I mean? So, all this, y'all niggas, man, y'all don't understand, you know, it don't matter. All this retaliation talk and all that, that shit is so far to the left because it don't matter. Now, of course, some things may transpire. Some things may not transpire. Who knows? This is a fucked up situation. But my point is, regardless of what transpired, it's not going to fucking be worth the loss at all. It's not going to be worth the loss. So, that's that, man. It ain't, like, it's fucked up. And that's that, like... Niggas. This shit feel like, um, I mean, the way it felt, it was crazy, bro. Now, I didn't, um, have a relationship with Nipsey like I had with Tupac, but still, it was like, that shit, that feeling all over again. Like, nigga, where do we go from here? That's some fucked up shit, bro. Especially for my city. I know it looks bad for hip hop, but nigga, for the Crenshaw district, it's like, it's fucked up, bro. Like, I feel like I don't even have the energy to, to do this shit no more. Sitting by this, like I, I don't even feel like I got, I have the energy to. You know what I mean? It may be a blessing that I just got, you know, my podcast. Shout out to my nigga G Principal. Shout out to my nigga Norman Steele, and all my people over there at the Digital Soapbox Network. But this may be, um, 
I don't even know if I have the energy to do this music shit no more. Because it's like, for what? It's pointless. You know what I'm saying? What a nigga gonna talk about? I don't wanna talk about... I mean, it's crazy. Shit, some shit happened, bro. It'd be like... Oh, I'm definitely solid. What do you mean? But being solid to myself is the main factor. And I'm not sure if I still want to pursue this shit still. Because it's pointless. You see shit like that happen. And that shit be like bonkers. Everybody had this feeling when Pac died. Nobody ran into the motherfucking studio. Niggas was ducked off somewhere like, nigga, fuck this shit. Took me a minute to even go in the st- like, I don't even how long up it took me to fucking do any sort of music or any sort of communicating with the fucking music industry after that. But this shit here, bro, is like, I can't stand to see a hater motherfucker come off. I can't stand to see a hater or a sucker win in any way, shape, or fashion. You know what I'm saying? Especially not on no sucker shit. That was some straight up like nigga. Buster shit, cuz like straight up buster shit. Look. shit happened at a time when I was around people on some business shit that's not from the neighborhood. They not from no parts of the hood. You know what I mean? Niggas don't understand straight up. Like, why are y'all killing each other? And how the fuck am I supposed to answer that? Couldn't even really... I'm up early just trying to get up and have some thoughts to myself before everybody else get up because I don't want you know shit like this be embarrassing my nigga you trying to level up and you know you can't escape what's going on you know what I mean and it's crazy when other motherfuckers they don't come from that so you get some news like that or hear some shit like that and this from back home, it's pretty hard to contain your emotions, you know what I mean? So, I'm pretty sure motherfuckers is, I mean, that shit is just crazy, bro. Like, we gotta do better, my nigga. How are we still out here? I mean, come on, I know I contributed to it. Made the cautious song, bang with the red or bang with the blue. But this right here, it's like, nigga, Are we fucking... Like, why are we still out here doing this shit? For what? Just please give me an answer... On why... Motherfuckers are still out here. I mean, listen... It's customary to go in the studio... And kill a hundred motherfuckers in every song. gotta stop killing each other, my nigga, and the fucked up thing about it is, as soon as that shit happened, immediately, immediately, motherfuckers blamed it on somebody else, talking about race-wise, before the footage came out. I feel like the conversation needs to be changed. 
You know what I mean? Like niggas need to know. You just can't run around killing everybody no more.